One of the most common isotopes used in medicine is cobalt-60. It is an artificially produced radioisotope that was discovered 75 years ago. All neutral atoms of the same element contain the same number of protons and electrons. However, the number of neutrons can vary. These are isotopes. The nucleus of an isotope is held together by a strong nuclear force. When an isotope is stable, the protons and neutrons bounce each other out. But if they don't, the nucleus starts to break up and decay, emitting radiation. In 1938, John Livingood and Glenn Seaborg discovered cobalt-60 at the University of California in Berkeley. They had measured the decay and radiation absorption to find that cobalt-60 had a half-life of 5.3 years. At the time, Livingood and Seaborg did not know what great value their discovery held. On October 27, 1951, the world's first cancer treatment with cobalt-60 radiation took place. This was an important milestone for the fight against cancer. The development of cobalt-60 allowed doctors to treat deep-seated tumours with ease. Lengthy and painful operations were avoided. Today, treatment is much more efficient as patients lie underneath a cobalt-60 source while a highly focused beam of gamma rays penetrates the skin to kill the mutated cancer cells. By 1958, Cobalt-60 was also being used for food and medical equipment sterilisation. However, Cobalt-60 also poses a risk as it produces gamma rays. Gamma radiation is made up of high-frequency electromagnetic waves. They also have lots of penetrating power and can only be absorbed by thick walls of iron or concrete. This danger is evident in the Samut Prakan radiation accident in 2000. A disused radiotherapy head containing cobalt-60 was accidentally sold to scrap collectors. Ten people, including junkyard workers, were exposed to high levels of radiation and became ill. Three of them had died. As we can see, cobalt-60 is very useful in medicine. Some advantages include non-invasive radiation treatment of cancers, sterilization of medical supplies and tools, and soft beta radiation which decreases the risk of cancer DNA changes and cell mutation. It is also low cost, which means that patients can receive affordable treatments and care. On the other hand, cobalt-60 holds many risks. It is difficult to dispose of, therefore can leak into the environment, which can enter food and water supplies of the community. Exposure to gamma radiation increases the risk of cancer. Overall, it is fair to say the advantages outweigh the risks, which can easily be avoided with correct and safe use. Today, cobalt-60 is used to treat about 70% of the world's cancer cases, with over 35 million cancer patients benefiting as of October 2011.